Hey everyone, we're at CES 2018, now at the EVGA suite here looking at some of their sort of revived products. A couple of these we've seen in the past, I think this one at least twice, but it looks like it might actually happen this time. So this is the QRG, they also have a QRC, they are quick release or quick disconnect valves and uh, complete liquid cooling solutions for GPUs and CPUs, so it's basically semi-open loop is, uh, is how you would refer to it. So we're going to look at those today along with some just accessory items like clamps. And then there's a laptop with an unnamed CPU in it. Before that, this video is brought to you by Leon Lee and their 550X and 330 cases. The 550X is a $180 mid-tower case with tempered glass on all panels. It's got three RGB LED fans positioned in the front, each of which has a metal frame housing and an open interior design. If you prefer a cheaper option, the 330 is $100 and comes without fans and is what we recommended most heavily in one of our recent case reviews. Learn more at the link in the description below. So let's start with the core component stuff. For the QRG, this is basically the hybrid pump that we've seen in the past. So this is, I believe this, my, the, the CPU is a Gen 5. I think this might be still a Gen 4.5, but either way, it's two pumps. So if you buy one for the GPU and one for the CPU, they will each have their own pump, which means you won't have issues with the liquid running too slowly. For example, in some 420 millimeter radiators on the market, the pumps are kind of anemic and it ends up with uh, slow enough liquid movement that they perform a bit worse than other components, especially when you start daisy chaining things off of them. So EVGA is doing a QRG uh, unit that you can attach to the video card, just like the hybrids, and then use quick disconnect valves up here at the top, which provided by ASA Tech just latched together with a QRC for the CPU. So those two can combine to form a semi-open loop. The radiator sizes will be 120, 240, 280, and 360, everything except 140, basically. And uh, other than that, I mean, you can buy it all separately and build the loop how you want. Uh, it is aluminum radiator component, so it should be a bit cheaper than full copper, for example, as, some of the, uh, as most of the open loops do at this point. So that's something to keep an eye on. Release is probably quarter two or quarter three. We don't yet have a price on any of it uh, or a hard release date, but that's what it's looking like. Moving on to just kind of a related component, this is a small quick thing. These are just clamps for the tubing. So not a, a whole lot here other than it just, it, it basically stiffens up the tubes. So if you are having trouble uh, or well, from an aesthetic standpoint, if you want it to look like it's hard line tubing, you can kind of fake it if that's what you're into. Um, other than that, I mean, it's, it's basically to get the tubes as far as I'm concerned, off of back plates and off of other tubes and things like that, that would impact the liquid temperature, which we've seen before when tubes rest on back plates uh, of GPUs if you have multi-GPU systems. So that's a small item, no price on that yet. It'll come out with the QRC and QRG. There's cable combs as well. I won't really talk about those. Pretty obvious what they do. As for the laptop, it's an SC15. It's, I don't have an exact number, but it's less than an inch thick, so it fits in the NVIDIA Max-Q specification and it's for core components, got a GTX 1070. Uh, unfortunately, EVGA would not tell us what the CPU is, but uh, so it's an unknown CPU. We do know it's probably an Intel CPU given EVGA's relationship and previous laptops. Uh, AMD would have made a lot of noise about it otherwise. So other than that, GTX 1070, uh, SC15, bit thin at less than an inch, and it's the next generation one that EVGA is working on. So we'll have more information on that in the future. Uh, as embargoes and things like that lift and they can tell us what's in there officially. So that's it for this one. You can subscribe for more as always. Patreon.com slash GamersNexus helps out directly. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time.